Hello, this is going to be a quick tutorial on the basics of Dentiview. First, you're going to start out by hitting the add button at the bottom to create your patient. You can shorten the list by hitting the show optional fields button, but we recommend filling out as many fields as possible, especially if you are not bridging from a practice management. When creating a patient, we recommend using at least a date of birth, patient ID, or social, allowing for you to keep those patients with similar names separate. Once you've entered all the fields you would like, hit OK. It will create the patient. As you see, I have test tester created, and now I can choose from the bottom right which device I want to use to capture. Once you have chosen the device you would like to use to capture, it will open you up into the capture portion of the program. If the sensor is plugged in, it should automatically go to ready if you have it set up in that method. On this screen, it is set up to take as many single PAs as you would like. You have the ability to choose the tooth, the teeth, or the quadrant that you would like to take your x-ray of and then take your x-ray. Once you take your x-ray, you'll notice it changes from green to yellow, detecting radiation, and then the image will appear on the screen. You have a large preview of the image, and it also goes on the image bar on the right, and as you capture, the images will continue to go in the image bar, and the most recent image will be previewed in the large screen. Once you have taken all of the images that you would like, you will then hit the finished button in the bottom right corner, and that will save the images into this patient's record. To capture into a layout, you will click on the Dentamax button just like you did to take the single PAs, but inside of that screen, you'll choose the auto mount in the upper left, then use the drop down to select your layout. Once you have the layout selected, you can then start taking your x rays. While using the auto mount, it will automatically number your tooth or teeth based on the layout you are using. The images will automatically be rotated in the proper direction based off of the layout that you are using as long as you capture the correct image in the correct tile. Just like with the single PAs, the images will appear in a large format in the preview screen and then also in the image bar to the side. Once you have captured all of the images into the layout, you will hit the finished button and then when the prompt comes up asking you if you want to finalize the layout, you will hit yes. The third and final way for taking x-rays is by using the maximize layout button. You'll pull up the auto mount, select the maximize just below the layout option, then it will pull your layout up in a maximized or larger view. You will then continue to capture your images in the same process, capturing the images in the correct order, and with the correct tooth association, will make it so you don't have to flip or rotate the images, and they will return in their proper way. Once you have captured all of the images that you need for the entire layout, you will then hit the finished button in the bottom right hand corner, which will then save the images into that patient's profile. Just like before, when the prompt asks if you want to finalize the layout, you will hit yes.